right there at the famous ivy-covered walls at historic Wrigley Field in Chicago as MLB 06 gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, a rematch of that now infamous National League Championship Series of 2003 as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Chicago Cubs. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler as we get set for what should be a good one. And Soup, we turn to you first. What will be the one thing we can keep an eye on here? Well, perhaps more than any other ballpark in the majors, the friendly confines can really be a Jekyll and Hyde type of place. When the wind's blowing out, it can be a bandbox, and when it blows in off the lake, that can be a pitcher's paradise. All right, Dave and Huddle join us shortly, but let's get to our New Era cap starting lineup as the visiting Florida Marlins align like this. Hanley Ramirez will lead things off and be the shortstop. Pokey Reese will bat next, really struggling against right-handed pitching, something to be aware of. Following him is the first baseman, Mike Jacobs. Miguel Cabrera, the third baseman, is in the cleanup spot. Next is Jeremy Ermita. He'll be out in right field. Josh Willingham will hit sixth and play left field. Matt Trainer is behind the plate. He'll hit seventh. Matt Sapicki bats eighth and plays center. Sergio Mitre will be on the mound for the Marlins and bat number nine. And on the mound to face them, the imposing presence of Kerry Wood. Wood coming off a very disappointing 2005 that saw him miss two months with shoulder trouble then try and work his way back via the bullpen. He's back in the rotation this season, but we'll see if he's the carry wood of old. And there's a look at the defensive alignment for the Cubs here. Hanley Ramirez makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Henley Ramirez. And we kick things off tonight with a swing and a miss for a first pitch strike as we're underway. Swings and sends this one softly out towards right center and a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to open up the ball game. Well, this is a good job right here of getting on base to start things out. Now we'll see just how aggressively they want to play this. Pokey Reese steps in now. Pokey Reese. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And Lee's got to hold it first, so there's plenty of daylight on the right side of the infield. Swing and a line drive to center field. And a base knock as that falls in front of Pierre. Boy, early trouble here to start the ball game tonight. Sometimes it takes a pitcher a few batters to get a little rhythm going, but they have pounced on him here in the first few pitches. Mike Jacobs will step Very in and you see where he enters play in the National League batting race. Wood looks back, now comes home, and this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. and Looks like he might be getting squeezed a little bit there. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And the runner will score from second. Miguel Cabrera will take his cuts now. Batting fourth. Third baseman. Miguel Cabrera. On the ground is short. This could be two. Perez over to Lee. A double play. Exactly what you want if you're a pitcher. Got him to bite on the first pitch, and it turns into a fairly routine double play up the middle. Muchas gracias, senor. So a man at third here with two gone, and that'll bring forth the youngster, Jeremy Hermida. And 
and a fastball just misses for ball one. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. Swing and a miss, one and one. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Three and one now. Josh Willingham would be next. Two outs here with a runner at third. The three one is on the way. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. And with a full count, you need to shorten your approach here. And he struck him out. So one run on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. Florida's out in front, one to nothing. A look there at the starting lineup for the Cubs now. Leading it off is the speedy center fielder Juan Pierre. Ronnie Cedeno bats second, he's at short. In the three spot, the dangerous Derek Lee over at first base. Aramis Ramirez will bat next, really struggling against right-handed pitching, something to be aware of. Next is Jock Jones, he'll be out in right field. Nefi Perez will bat sixth and play second. Henry Blanco is behind the plate, he'll hit seventh. Following him is the left fielder, Matt Merton. Kerry Wood will bat number nine, and as you've seen, he is on the mound. They'll be opposed by the hard-throwing right-hander, Sergio Mitre. Mitre, a key component of the trade for Juan Pierre this offseason. He's got a good fastball, but an even better sinker, so be on the lookout for a lot of ground balls in this one. And in the field, Rawlings will show us that the Marlins will align themselves as such. Juan Pierre will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Too low, 1-0. Yeah, and he'll lay off there and just take what's given to him. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Ronnie Cedeno will get his first shot out of here. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole, and that's by him into right field for a base hit. First pitch fastball that time, but he's locked in on it as he sends it out to right for a base hit. Derek Lee will stand in for the first time here. Derek Lee. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Might have just been looking at one there because that's the pitch you can normally handle. Now a spin and a throw back to second. Almost caught him leaning that time. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. And he missed with it. It's one and two. That was a good spot to miss. That thing fell right through the bottom of the zone. Oh. 
Now a big swing, and this ball is crushed to deep left field, and the wind's going to grab it and take this on to Waveland Avenue, a home run. Ramos Ramirez will be the banner. And here's the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Three runs already home here. Swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw over by Pokey, and there's one gone. Had to reach out of the zone that time, and all he could do was hit it the other way off the end of the bat, where it was an easy play for the second baseman. Jack Jones will stand in, looking to extend his modest six-game hitting streak. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0-1. Matt, let's see if that sets the tempo for the rest of the at-bat. Swing, and a ball lifted in the air to straightaway right. And this is pulled in on the run. Good concentration, and there are two gone. Nessie Perez will dig in now. Switch hitter batting left. Hit hard to short. Throw on to Jacobs at first. He'll take care of him, and the inning is over. So three runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. Second inning coming up here at Wrigley. Cubs lead it 3-1. to one. Josh Willingham leads things off now in the top half of the second. Josh Willingham. And, hmm, not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. and oh. Ball two now. Oh, I don't know about that one. Looked to me like we should be 1-1 one one right now. And this is popped high in the air to the left side. Cedeno is right there. One down. Matt Trainer will step in now. Matt Trainer. And now a swing and a ball hit hard back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Matt Sapicki will get his first cuts here. Matt Sapicki. In there, 0-1. Boy, and they would love a double play ball right here. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. Has a look, now the pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. He'll leave that one alone. Off-speed pitch, and there is strike three called. And boy, that zone just got a bit larger. Two away. Sergio Mitre digs in at the plate. Sergio Mitre.
and he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh, and, and one of the reasons this guy's been in the bigs for so long is that he knows the importance of first pitch strikes. Now the nothing and one from Wood. Now a breaking ball runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. Fastball called strike, one and two. Slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. Here's the two and two offering. On the ground down the first baseline. And Lee will just take this to the bag himself, and that'll end the inning. So it's no run, one hit, no errors, and a runner left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Cubbies are in front, three to one. Henry Blanco will start things off in the bottom of the second. Henry Blanco. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. And that's in there for his strike one and one. And he'll just live on the black right there. One one on the way. Now a hard liner toward short. But right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first down. Matt Merton will take his first cuts of the ball game here. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Curveball close, but it's one and one. He's got to keep his hand steady on a pitch inside like that. And the pitch. Boy, and that's about as bad as you can fool the guy. It's one and two. Swung on and a fair ball rolled weakly up the line at first. Throw to Jacobs is in time, and that's out number two. This is what sinker ballers will do to you. He just swings right over the top of this thing. Harry Wood will be the batter. Harry Wood. First pitch coming. Lays off 1-0. and Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Slider just off the black there, and it's to two and one now. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Boy, and that's the pitcher up there. You got to throw strikes here. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and none left. Through two here at the ballpark, the Cubs are on top three to one. Hanley Ramirez will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. And 
And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Time to take a deep breath and regroup at the plate here. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. Pokey Reese will dig in. He singled his first time around. Pokey Reese. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Well, this is what veteran pitchers do. They know the importance of getting ahead in the count. Swing and a ball hit high, but not very far out toward right center. And a nice play as he reaches up to grab it on the run for the second out. Mike Jacobs steps in now. Mike Jacobs. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. And that's a sign of a veteran pitcher getting ahead early in the count. Now a swing and this is popped straight up. This could be a tough play. Blanco is underneath this one. And that will retire the side. Good inning there for Kerry Wood. He's got a 3-1 lead. Juan Pierre makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Runs up and gets one down here, but it might not be deep enough. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. Lonnie Cedeno will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. And you know that Pierre's itching to go down there at first. Now a move over to first. Has to dive, but he's back. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Hits are now even at four apiece. One one pitch on the way. And this is taken for a ball. Looked pretty good, but it's two and one now. swing here but this is in there for a cold strike two. Now at 2-2 two -two, you don't need a strikeout just make sure as a pitcher that he hits your pitch. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. Over at first is Pierre with nobody out. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count three and two. And with a full count now, we'll see if they want to put the runner in motion to try to avoid the double play. There he goes. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. But a heads up play as two fielders were better than one this time. A man at second with one down. And here comes big Derek Lee. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. When he's on, a pitch like that will take the sting out of your bat. In there, and it's 0-2 now. 
And look out as that one ran in and got him. 0-2 count, obviously not trying to do this on purpose. And man, that'll get you pounding your glove as a pitcher. Aramis Ramirez will step in. A ground out victim as last time. In there, and it's 0-1. And there's a reason this team is losing already. He's got to stay out of the middle with those. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. And the runner will score from second. And a relay home. And not in time as the second run scores. Let's check it out as you'll get a good angle as he really drives this pitch. It's going to go out and rattle against the Ivy for extra bases. So a runner on second with one down now. And here's the right fielder, Jock Jones. And, hmm, not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. and oh. Runner at second here with one man out. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle. Throw to Jacobs is in time, and that's out number two. Randy Messenger will come in and pitch now. Nicky Perez will stand in. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. Not much you can do with a fastball there. Good eye. Fastball not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. The knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. The two two coming. And this is in the air right to the left fielder. And he can't track it down. A base hit. In to score now is Ramirez. Doesn't matter how hard you hit it as long as it falls. This one gets down out there and it'll be good enough for a base hit and an RBI. Henry Blanco will be the batter. Here's the first offering. Runner goes per second. Pitch inside the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. So they pick up three runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. The Cubs lead this one 6-1. to one. Miguel Cabrera will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Here's the first pitch to him. In there for strike one. Tough pitch to start the at-bat. Chance for the third baseman, Ramirez. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. 
Well, that's a pitcher's pitch right there. Off the corner away, and he got him to hit it on the ground. Jeremy Hermida will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. Might have been trying to overthrow that one a bit. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Strike called, two and one. Misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Josh Willingham will be next. Now the three one pitch. And Carey misses with it, ball four, so that's the first walk given up by Wood in this one. Josh Willingham will dig in here. Fastball here, too low. It's 1-0. and The infield's a double play depth here, Matt, as they look for a ground ball to get him out of the inning. On the corner away, a ball and a strike. Just couldn't recognize changeup out of the pitcher's hand. Runners on first with one down. He's set, now the pitch. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Maybe a good spot for a hit and run here, Matt. Let's see if they want to try something. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. Misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Matt Trainer will be next, barring a double play ball. A swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. Matt Trainer digs in at the plate. Matt Trainer. And that misses ball one. Infield at double play depth as they look for two to try to get him out of this. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Got to have a little better plate coverage up there. In there, one and two now. Oh, and a lively fastball from Wood, and that's strike three. Matt Sapicki will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Matt Sapicki. On the corner at the knees, 0 and 1. Boy, and that is just the definition of hitting your spots. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, 1-2.
Comes set, now the pitch. And a breaking ball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Marlins strand a pair. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Henry Blanco will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Henry Blanco. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and he pops him up. Over near second. Reese has it and it's a quick out number one. So one away here in the Chicago fourth. And here's the left fielder, Matt Merton. Matt Merton. Curveball taken outside to begin the at bat. Ball one. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. Throw to Jacobs is in time, and that's out number two. Kerry Wood will take his cuts now. First pitch coming. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Two out, nobody on. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's 1 and 1. And he takes a cold strike, too. Don't think he liked the call right there. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on. We played four full. The Cubbies are in front, six to one. Lenny Harris will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 10, Lenny Harris. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's 1-2. and two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. And that's a deflating feeling to finally get in the game and then quickly get dispatched from whence you came. One away now for the Marlins in their half of the fifth. And at the plate is the young shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. And he swings right over the top of this one, nothing and one. And he's got to be more patient and wait for that pitch to be in the zone. And there's ball one. Now a curveball's in there. One and two now. One out, nobody on.
And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Seven strikeouts for him now here tonight as he sets this guy down for the second time in the game. Pokey Reese will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And a strike at the knees, more like at the shins, but it's nothing in one. Now a bullet to first. Oh, and a beautiful diving catch there will end the inning as the side is retired. So Wood just steams through this half inning. Last half of the fifth coming up, Cubs lead it 6-1. to one. Chris Risa is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Now for the Marlins, number 44. Juan Pierre will be the batter. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Juan Pierre. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. Throw beats him by a half a step. He almost beat that out. Lonnie Cedeno will step in. One for two in the ball game. First pitch on the way. On the ground towards second. Throw to Jacobs is in time, and that's out number two. Derek Lee will get another shot, hit by a pitch his last time. And here's the first pitch. And this is low, ball one. Sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff, not there. Swing and a ground ball to short. Throw on to Jacobs at first. He'll take care of him, and the inning is over. So it's no run on no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Cubs lead this one 6-1. to one. Mike Jacobs will step in. One for two in the ballgame. Mike Jacobs. And a called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. Merton will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first out. Miguel Cabrera will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Sight of a smart hitter right there. Now the 1-0 pitch. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing by Cabrera and a ball hit on the ground is short. On to first and a good start to the inning here for Wood, two gone. Jeremy Hermida will stand in, base on balls his last time. Swing and a miss that time, it's 0-1. He just poured that fastball right down the heart.
Here's the pitch. Ball one. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. One, two, three go the Marlins. They trail six to one. Ramos Ramirez will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the six. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. And Ermita will play this one on the bounce. A base hit. And this will bounce up against the Ivy now. But he'll be in there with a double. Josh Jones will step in, a ground out victim his last time. From the belt, the pitch. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. Grounded to the right side. That may get the runner over. Throw over by Pokey, and there's one gone. Nessie Perez will step in. An RBI single this last time around. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And this guy won't back down there out on the mound. Brought that one at 94 miles an hour. Right back to the mound. He'll come to the plate with it. And they will get the runner at the plate as he's tagged out. Henry Blanco will stand in. 0 for 2 thus far. Her ball just misses, apparently. 1-0. Breaking ball as this runs in on him, and he has to step out of the way that time. And here's a fastball for a strike. 2-1 and one now. Well, he just says, here it is. Try and hit it. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. Swing and an easy one for the first baseman. Pretty routine over there for Jacobs, and that ends the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and one man left on base. Seventh inning coming up. The Cubbies are in front, 6-1. to one. Josh Willingham will dig in, 1-2 for two thus far. Josh Willingham. And he takes ball one. That thing's moving pretty good at the end. Here's the 1-0. And here's his fastball for a cold strike one, and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. No contact there, and it's one and two. He got away with that pitch, Matt, but his veteran know-how was nowhere to be seen there.
And a ball in the dirt as it gets away a bit. Fouled straight back. In the air to left center. Merton is in his tracks now. One gone. Night games becoming more frequent as you get a panoramic look there at Wrigley Field, Chicago. Alongside Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler, Matt Vaskersian here bringing you the sights and sounds of this one. Matt Trainer will be the batter, one for two thus far. And a ball 1-0. and oh. Matt, his pitch count's up over 75, so you have to figure they're going to start keeping closer tabs on him. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. Oh. And he gets this fastball over, it's 2-1. And this is hit well towards the hole. Aramis has got it. Throw gets him at first base as he took away a sure base hit that time. Matt Sapicki will dig in. Strikeout victim his last time. And that misses low and away. Bowl one. Two and zero. Come on, boys. And this is ripped down the first base line. And Lee will just take this to the bag himself, and that'll end the inning. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and none left. Get out the microphone. Stretch time here at Wrigley. Cubs lead it 6-1. to one. Matt Merton will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Matt Merton. Right there for strike one. Keeping it low, he won't get burned down there. the pitch now a swing as he shoots this one over to first throw got him and I'm gonna tell you that is an incredible play heck of a play right here this ball's headed for the hole at a certain base hit but look at the first baseman dive across his body to spear this one and then flip it over to first for the out that was perfect Todd Walker will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here Ball one. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. Here's the 2-0 -oh pitch. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. What a stop! Ah, but the throw is too late as he gave it all he had, but that'll be scored as an infield single. Juan Pierre steps in now. Now 
Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss that time. Strike one. Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Yeah, and two and one's a good hit and run count. Let's see if they decide to put it on here. Now a ball hit back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And he is safe on a close play. Ronnie Cedeno will get another crack. One for three thus far. And a foul ball straight back. Curveball close, but it's one and one. And they better not forget about that runner on first. Outside, two and one. Throw over to the bag. Pretty close that time. Here's the two and one pitch. And he hits the corner with that one, two and two. That's a little too good to let go, but not necessarily something he could do anything with. Swing and a ball pulled down the line at third. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Maybe not exactly what he wanted, but the ground ball will get him an RBI. Derek Lee will step in. One for two in the ball game. Line hard into left. On the run, and he has it to retire the side. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Eighth inning coming up. The Cubs lead this one 7-1. to one. Your attention, New pitcher set to take the mound and getting the call, the oft-injured right-hander Scott Williamson. Scott Williamson. Wes Helms will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 18. West and he goes with this one and gives it a pretty good ride out toward the corner. Jones is back near the Ivy as he makes the catch for the first down. Went the other way with it that time and darn near got it out of here, but that ball was run down deep in the corner. Henley Ramirez will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Henley Ramirez. And waiting for him to call a strike, but he never did. It's 1-0. Oh. 1-0 pitch now. Swing and a liner towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Pokey Reese will get another shot second after he was baseman. robbed of a hit on a gorgeous Pokey play his last time. Now here's the first pitch. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out.
Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. That is such a valuable weapon when you can spot the fastball down there. Now the one one. Two and one. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. Well, the shortstop's got in play perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Cubbies are in front, 7-1. to one. Nate Bump will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Nate Bump. Ramos Ramirez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. In there, strike one. Man, if he can get that call, it wouldn't surprise me to see him inch out a little bit further. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Jock Jones will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. Swung on and missed that time as Jones finds himself behind 0-2. Oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Well, he just hadn't looked very comfortable up there throughout the entire game. He might have been pressing a little bit right there because he chased a bad pitch, and now he's going to head back to the dugout wearing an 0-4 for 4 collar. Nicky Perez will get another crack, 1-3 for three thus far. Change up too low and it's one and oh. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. And he's behind now as he missed badly on that swing. One and two. Now the pitch. Now a fastball swung on and missed. And that is out number three. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. Last chance for Romance. Cubs lead it seven to one. Mike Jacobs will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Well, when you're hitting the outside corner at 94, you'll see an awful lot of swing throughs like that. And he looks at one in there, one and two. And the pitch. In the air to left.
Merton comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Miguel Cabrera will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Good idea to take a strike here. You need base runners. Here it comes. Outside for a ball, one and one. One out, nobody on. Now a ball lined back over second. In there, a base hit. Jeremy Hermida will stand in, 0 for 2 Jeremy thus far. And he lays off a fastball, looked good, but it's 1-0. And, oh. and if I'm on the mound, I go right back in there with a fastball. Good splitter there, and it's even at one and one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strike out of the game. Josh Willingham will get another crack. One for three thus far. Ball one. Fastball high, and it's quickly 2-0. Oh. Take sign must have been on there, because that's right down the middle. Strike one. <laughs> this pitcher knows after all these years he got away with one there. Now a ball hit out to left field and deep. Back for it is Merton looking up, and this one is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, as is now a 7-3 game. Well, you might file this under too little too late, but this home run's going to cut into that lead just a bit. This one might not be over yet. Matt Trainer will get another crack, one for three thus far. Swinging a soft liner to the right side. A move to the bullpen already made here is they'll go lefty, lefty with the veteran workhorse, Scott Ayer. Matt Sapicki will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Boy, tough when you take off speed to start the at-bat.
A little bit low that time, maybe outside as well. Two out with the man at first. Here's the 1-1. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead 1-2 and two now. Down to their last strike, so they certainly have their backs up against it. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's 2-2. Two and two. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Well, this might not have been one for the ages, but it was still a good competitive game here, folks. That's all you can really ask for. Well, this one's in the win column for the Cubbies, and soup it's time now for our majestic play of the game. Well, Matt, here's what turned out to be the decisive blow, and it came way back in the very first inning. This home run got them going, and they never looked back. And a very good performance offensively for this bunch, but out of everyone, I think we should single out this fella right here as our upper deck player of the game. Matt, he only had one hit in the game, but was it ever big? That home run really turned out to be the decisive blow in the game. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Cubs win this one 7-3. This has been a presentation of MLB 06, the show. For more, log on to MLB 06.com. Good night, everybody.